Further remarks, the good member from the 19th, Representative Walsh. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, the good gentleman from 47th has committed to running a, a resolution to undo damaging proclamations uh, when he hears from constituents and, and others who are, are suffering from them. Uh, I believe, Madam Speaker, that the time for that is now. It's a cruel irony of this proposed policy that it makes our work here a little easier to extend these proclamations indefinitely. While it makes life for the working people and small businesses of the state harder, Madam Speaker, as I know, you know, uncertainty is the worst condition for businesses, especially small businesses. Uncertainty of the time allowed for these proclamations to continue indefinitely will add insult to injury. That's the problem here. The policy behind this, this resolution is selfish. We in the legislative process, we in the government prefer this, and we put our own interests ahead of our constituents' interests. Madam Speaker, the people of this state want clarity. They want to know what the public policy is of this state simply and reliably and straightforwardly. They've had enough of so-called reopening systems, schemes, plans that get renegotiated and restructured every so often. It's been almost a year, Madam Speaker, and we have not given the people of Washington clarity. Let's give those people, our people, our constituents, our working families, our businesses, let's give them a clear path. And the first step in giving them that clarity is to end this inefficient, imbalanced, I say unconstitutional process in which one person sitting in one chair in one office dictates the public policy of a state of 8 million people. We need to take our rightful position back here, Madam Speaker. We need to reassert ourselves as a co-equal branch of this government, as effective and as strong as the executive, a co-equal, as effective and as clear as the judges. It's on us, Madam Speaker, it's on us right now to offer that clarity, to end this year of chaotic uncertainty, to end this year of what looks to many of our constituents like one person rule. This is our opportunity. This is our moment for all of us, the gentleman from the 47th, the gentleman from the third, you, Madam Speaker, all of us, let's take this opportunity to stand strong and stand tall and say that the legislature will help direct the policy of this state and we will not yield indefinite authority to the executive. It's urgent, Madam Speaker, it's urgent. Now is the moment, now is the time. Let's make a bold, clear statement to the people of this state that their voices are heard in this chamber. And how do we do that, Madam Speaker? We vote no on this unfortunate resolution. Thank you.